is the graduates. Your son's good rating too? Your son's good rating too? I work with you at OPC. Congratulations to you. There's the graduate guys. Let's see. You can find the dash in here. Oh. Oh, over there too. Oh boy. So he must be on that side then. Hi, Sebas. <laughs> Hi, Sebastian, in the line.
Hi, Josh. Miss Sardina is Mr. Sebastian. He's got the uh, Philippine and American flag. He's right there. Want to take a picture? He's over here. Right here. Right there with the red sunglasses. With the red sunglasses, big sunglasses. I'm so proud of you! <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations, huh? <laughs> Thank you. Go around. Good evening, everyone. Can I go? I am Samantha Aguiar, the Shearson Vice you. President, and welcome Thank to this beautiful day to celebrate the graduating class of 2023. To my classmates here with me, me today, I, we no, made man. it. I go this we way. have been waiting for this moment for what feels like forever. We shared countless smiles, laughs, and even tears that help us get to this day. We have been dreaming about this very moment since we were little kids, looking up to the older boys and girls walking the halls. In these she past 13 have, years, we've learned everything from how to sing the alphabet to understanding the purpose of the letters in our math equations. We've always seemed like today was so far away. 
but then suddenly fifth grade became eighth grade and eighth grade became seniors in high school. Throughout that time, we didn't even recognize that we were growing up. We didn't realize about all the jokes that we can't wait for graduation would truly appear so quickly. We didn't realize that all of a sudden, our friends would move halfway across the US for school or to serve our country. And most of all, we didn't realize that our last days of high school would end so abruptly. We have made countless of memories that will last a lifetime. We stayed up late with our best friends, cheered on our sports teams, and got ready for school events. When we look back at this, we'll remember this as the good old days. As we leave here today, remember that although we've grown as human beings, this is not where our journey ends. Remember that throughout all of our hardships, there will always be success. And remember that if you've come this far, you can go 10 times further. Let's be the person our five-year-old selves have always dreamed to be. Congratulations to the class of 2023. We made it. our class president. Congratulations, class of 2023. I'd like to take us all on a trip down memory lane. In kindergarten, we walked in with SpongeBob and Cinderella backpacks in hand. We walked into a classroom surrounded by new faces, the faces of those who now sit beside us. In fifth grade, we had our per first promotion ceremony and prepared ourselves for middle school. This was the first graduation we had ever experienced. In middle school, we hit puberty, and through cracking voices, we started to find our voices as individuals. Then we entered the old Derpy as freshmen. As we grew, so did a new structure of a new Derpy. As juniors, we walked through the pristine doors and watched our old school fall. And now, in just a few moments, we will walk across this stage and receive our diplomas. We will throw our caps in the air as one to solidify this chapter in our lives ending. Before we do, I'd like to take a moment to reflect on the last school year. What will you remember about senior year? I've thought about this question a lot. I remember sitting at lunch with friends. I remember senior sunrise and winning the Southeastern Conference as a member of the field hockey team. I remember my last orchestra winter concert that brought me and the rest of the performing arts seniors to tears. I remember us, the seniors, winning the pep rally. I won't forget choreographing the powder puff dance and how Jesse was the best Rihanna with the Durfee has ever seen. I remember standing on the sidelines during the football games from the Durfee Pride in the six man cheering section. What will you remember about senior year? What memories will you take with you when you leave graduation today? What lessons, what friends? What faculty will you remember? What conversations? What moments will stay with you? As this chapter in our lives end, we each have a different perspective on what high school gave us. But we all have one thing in common. We will all be the class of 2023 Durfee Hilltoppers. No matter the direction we travel, no matter the path ahead, whether we remain in forever or move across the world, we will always be Durfee Hilltoppers. We have all joined paths here today on this stage. And we didn't make it here alone. We had help along the way from others. It is important that we thank them. And so tonight, as we celebrate, find a moment to thank them in your own unique way. Personally, I'd like to thank my grandmother, Denise Claire Pont, who unfortunately couldn't be here today. She passed away when I was 11 years old and is the reason I pushed myself, ensuring she would be proud of me. I'd also like to thank my mother, who I'm lucky enough to have hand me my diploma. She has not only given me a home, but supported me and pushed me to go above and beyond in all aspects of my life. Take a moment. Why have you graduated today? As I walk across this stage shortly and my mother hands me my diploma, I know my grandmother would be proud of me in this moment and that's why I've graduated. So I would like to say thank you to everyone who has helped us get here today. Thank you for believing in us, motivating us, and pushing us when we wanted to give up. Thank you from the class of 2023. And thank you, class of 2023, for letting me be your class president. I would like to introduce our valid Victorian, Brady Lavoy. Against my mother's better judgment, I did not use staples. Let's hope the wind cuts me some slack. All right. Uh, Hello everyone, I'd like to begin my speech with a round of applause for all the teachers out there, mine and yours, please. I didn't find it necessary to research the official definition for the word teacher, because I find it to encapsulate far more than whatever Merriman Webster came up with. It. Um, please allow me to share with you my definition, which is anyone, anything, and any place you have learned from. 
We have all learned, regardless of merit, for better or worse, from an enormously vast variety of teachers. I have learned from our own Durfee faculty and Fall River Public Schools. I have learned from my parents and my family. I have learned from God, Jesus Christ. And what I'd like to focus on today is what I have learned from my city, Fall River, which is, I believe, to be one of the greatest teachers I have had or ever will have the pleasure and privilege of learning from. I, like many others in the crowd, was born and raised in this city. I spent my first 12 years living in the South End, right by the bay, in just a short walk to the border of Rhode Island. And then on my 13th birthday, we moved just a little way from here, a few streets down from Durfee, for my sister's freshman year. It was just two years later, when I joined the Durfee family, that I was introduced to everyone else in the crowd today. Everyone who was and wasn't born in Fall River. And I thank God every day that I did, because there is no other community on this earth as wonderfully diverse as BMC Durfee High School and this city as a whole. Thinking about it this last Sunday, I decided that this speech was to be a love letter to my city and its people, as I, I have been taught a beautifully rounded and empathetic perspective that I can now take with me throughout life, sharing it with others. I've learned about those I can help, those who can help me, and met so many who have devoted so much to helping every community. Not only is it enlightening to have dwelt amongst such varying circumstance, but it is humbling, modesty being a trait I often find myself in dire near need of. You see, if you walk into a classroom, you're more than likely to see academic perseverance and excellence. Patience and perseverance, similar to how one would fight and defeat a bear in a fight, metaphorically. Um, however, if you ever take part in our amazing athletic program, of which I am so immensely proud of and thankful for, alongside the fantastic coaches who have made it so, you'll see that, although I'm pretty good, I'm in no way the best. I'm not better at setting than my buddy Jack on the volleyball team. You'll never see me lifting nearly as much as my uh, power lifter friend Lensley in the weight room. And I'm definitely not faster or better at jumping than my division one track teammate Shakira, who holds 26 unique school records, several state titles, has competed at the national level and has not one but two banners on the gymnasium wall. I mean, I'm friends with and have been on the same team as the greatest athlete to ever walk turf these halls. That's a shout out, yeah. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> I could go on to other areas of achievement expertise. Anthony's far better than me at filming, writing scripts, producing, directing, all that. I'm definitely not better at branding artwork than Brandon. Durfee just turns out these amazingly talented people and sets them up for incredible amounts of success in all these different realms and connects them all together. A good chunk of my friends don't speak English as their first language. They speak Spanish, Portuguese, Haitian Creole, one of my teammates just came from Brazil a few months ago, and here he is on the varsity lineup for volleyball as our main passer, just fit right in. The opportunities offered at Durfee are rivaled by none, and the variety of people I've met and different lives I've witnessed have all shaped a perspective which I will carry and rely on for my entire life. The last page, don't worry. I often tell my friends that I really don't know where I'll go in the future, with so many of our aspirations leading us in so many different directions. But if there's one thing I'm sure of, is that my future children absolutely must share the same schooling I had the honor of receiving. As the Fall River Public Schools shaped us all in a way you'd expect to see only in fiction. The capacity for empathy and relentless ambition it has placed within myself and so many others is one everyone deserves, and frankly, one which everyone requires. So thank you to the city of Fall River, my city. Thank you to everyone. I can promise you all that I will never forget where I came from, and I hope that all of you can promise the same. Our next, uh, our salutatorian, Brooke Macedo. Good evening all, and a big congratulations to my fellow classmates. I wanted to start off by saying I am thankful for my family, the faculty, my friends, and everyone else here who has helped me on my journey. Regardless if you know me or not, you have impacted me, shaped me, and my ideas, as well as guided me in our community, and I appreciate you all for that. My speech tonight is inspired by a J. Cole song from 2014 Forest Hill Drive called Love Yours. Comparison, a 10 letter word that we've all used in our English class essays. A word so full of dreams, dreams that are stolen from us. The sad truth about our generation is we have grown up on a constant comparison. The world of social media open our lives up to the continuous thought of I am not enough. This feeling of I am not enough only exists because we are comparing ourselves to other people. This eats up our dreams and takes away our confidence to reach our definitions of success. 
Today, I stand here as our class's salutatorian, and this is an immense honor, but the truth is there's always someone doing more, better than me at something. But this lies within comparing myself to someone else's expectations. It's okay to look up to someone, to want to be just like them, to grow, to learn from them, but you want to do this for yourself, not the outcome. You want to become a better you and be happy with your own life. I'm okay with not being the smartest or the funniest, and the list goes on of what I'm not okay with. And you are enough. These individual races that we guide on include conditions that no other person here could imagine because it's your own journey. We all got here regardless of who has better grades or who has more volunteer hours or better achievements. We all worked hard and the true beauty lies within the struggle. The struggles that you fought through got you here and everyone's struggles are different. You deserve happiness, but that happiness doesn't come until you're okay with someone being better. Now this doesn't mean stop trying or settle. It means work hard for yourself and love yours no matter the outcome. You don't have to make the most money, have the best car, or have the best clothes to be successful. The happiest people are surrounded by love and support, not the best houses or the best money. Trust me, there is always someone better, but hey, maybe yours isn't so bad after all because no one else went through the same journey that you did. They didn't put in the work to get where you are and get what you have today. You did, and that is something that will forever be yours. Stop comparing yourself to others and see your happiness expand. The truth is everyone can win this race, but the only person you actually have to be is yourself. If no one has personally told you tonight, I am proud of you all, both those graduating and those here to support, and I could not have done it without you. Regardless of my achievements, without all the love and support, it would mean absolutely nothing. Always remember, as J. Cole said in his song, no such thing as a life that's better than yours. Thank you and congratulations again. Nice job. I don't know how the adults are going to follow that act. Maybe next year we need to put them ahead of the students. No pressure, Mayor Coogan. Mm -hmm. It's my pleasure to announce proud Durfee alumnus, the Honorable Mayor Paul E. Coogan. Well, I got to tell you, this looks great from our view up here, so I know the class of 23 is gonna be very special. Fall River is very proud of all of you. The resilience you showed did not go unnoticed. Staff, parents, and your friends have seen you all rise to the challenge and you'll graduate today despite the hardships of the pandemic, which took away many of your high school years. You showed up under every circumstance we threw at you, from online learning to wearing a mask and all the adjustments in between, but you are proudly graduating today despite all these challenges. As you say goodbye to Durfee, know that you will always be part of this school's history and a testament to what makes Durfee so unique. You are one of the first graduating classes to graduate from this new building. And as a city, we are lucky to have such talented students who are able to use the features of this building to learn, grow, wherever it happens, in classrooms, stages, fields, or anywhere. So many past Durfee graduates have gone on to do some really amazing things, and I have no doubt that sitting in front of me are people that are gonna do the exact same types of things. Each one of you has unique talents, and you will pursue different paths in life, but wherever you go, respect, determination, and the representation you'll bring to Durfee and Fall River will live with you forever. Congratulations, class of 2023. Go Hilltoppers, let's go. Thank you, Mayor Coogan. It is now my pleasure to introduce another proud Durfee alumnus, our superintendent, Maria Ponce. Good evening, everyone. Families, friends, Mayor Coogan, members of the school committee, Principal Damaris, Durfee faculty and staff, and most importantly, good evening, class of 2023. You made it. I'm filled with awe in looking at this beautiful sea of black and red. Tonight, I stand before you as your proud superintendent and fellow Hilltopper. It is my distinct honor to be celebrating with you tonight. I could not be more proud to finally say, congratulations, class of 2023. After all, 
you will forever be known as the COVID class. Somehow, you all found a way to persist through the many challenges you encountered along your journey. High school graduation is a culmination of 13 years of hard work and effort. And for you, class of 2023, your high school journey was far from typical. You may have started out as freshmen in what you anticipated to be a typical first year of high school. But when March rolled around, you were sent home unexpectedly, and we all know that the rest is history. Certainly everyone wants their high school experience to be a memorable one, but your high school experience is one that will go down in history. You were challenged by circumstances beyond your control and you powered through them until the very end. We asked a lot of you through the four years that you were in high school, aside from asking you to work hard, complete assignments, engage in college coursework, participate in extracurriculars and sports, we all asked you to adapt your learning experiences. In your four years, technology became your best friend. You had to learn how to navigate through remote learning, hybrid learning, and in-person learning, and you did it. You were flexible and learned, or should I say taught us, how to adapt to the world around us. Thank you for your flexibility. Thank you for your persistence. You will have stories to share in the years to come that are historical. Tonight, you celebrate a milestone in your young lives, a milestone that marks the end of one chapter in your life journey and begins a new one. Tonight, you will walk away from this field, not only as Durfee High School alumni, but also as Fall River Public School scholars who are the pride of our community. Look around this field. You are surrounded by love and support. This field is filled with those who believe in you, who invested in you, and you, who want you to be successful and will continue to be by your side. Don't forget, you did not walk this journey alone. Make sure you take the time to thank them. Durfee, class of 2023, tonight you officially close out your high school career and formally transition into a new chapter of your life, adulting. Some of you will transition into the workforce where you will go out and impact your community. Go ahead. Go proudly, your community, our community needs you. Some of you have nobly chosen to serve our country by transitioning into the military where you will dedicate yourselves to protecting us and serving us. Go proudly, we salute you, our country needs you. And still others of you will continue your schooling by choosing to move on to colleges and universities. And I say, go proudly, the world needs you. Regardless of the path you choose, each path will offer you opportunities, opportunities to make a difference in our world. Don't be afraid to seize them. So as you go off to experience life, I challenge you to never lose sight of your dreams, continue to work hard, and most importantly, remember to keep working at being good human beings. Life is filled with challenges. You will trip up. You will be challenges, challenged, but you know what? You'll pick yourself up, you'll dust yourself off, and you'll carry on. You've already demonstrated to us that you are persistent. Class of 2023, the world awaits you. It needs you. Go forth, use the lessons, the skills, and the tools you've acquired throughout the last 13 years to empower yourselves. And remember that wherever life takes you, your Fall River community, your Durfee family could not be more proud of each and every one of you. Congratulations, class of 2023, and never forget, once a hilltopper, always a hilltopper. Thank you, Superintendent Ponce. Mayor Coogan, Superintendent Ponce, members of the school committee, parents, friends, family. Before us, we have the class of 2023. And in my 24 years at Durfee High School, I can't remember a class with more spirit, talent, humor, spunk, and grace that's come before them. You are an amazing group of people. Every year I come on this stage and I'm the last to speak. And I take the speech and I put it back in my pocket because everything that I wrote was just said by the people that came before me. That's one of the pitfalls. But what that teaches me is that you have to be flexible. You have to improvise. You have to be ready to change direction on a dime. You have to go with the flow. 
I think those are lessons that you just learned over the last four years because the world threw something at you that no one has seen in over a hundred years. Take those skills, take the knowledge you've gained, take the empathy that you've learned to develop between one another and go forward and do great things. The world awaits you. I encourage you to engage that world with a sense of wonder, joy, enthusiasm, and grace. Wherever you end up, please serve your community well. You will always be part of this family in Fall River. And selfishly, I'd love you all to stay right here and make Fall River a better place each and every day. But we know that your paths will cross this globe. But wherever you are, do good work and be a good person. I couldn't be prouder of you as your principal, and I thank you for these last four years. Let's go, Hilltoppers. If you would all please rise and open up your program to the back cover. On the inside, we have the words to the alma mater, and we'd love it if you'd join our chorus in singing the alma mater at this time. Do you still remember it? Yes. Yes. Sing it. You memorize it? I don't have a place. <laughs> <laughs> throw everybody off. <laughs> run. <laughs> As we get ready to uh, get to the best part of the show, and that's the uh, distributing of our diplomas, and the presentation of the diplomas, please enjoy a musical interlude from our concert band, Black Horse Troop March. <laughs> 